Hello, welcome to the second section of Rapid C++. In this section, we are going to start with the video on Hello World in C++. So that will uh, cover how to write the basic program in C++. In the next video, we are going to cover C++ keywords, which will cover different keywords or important words in C++. In the third video, we are going to cover variables. And in the fourth video, we are going to cover a special type of variable called strings. And in the final video, there will be an exercise that will use whatever we have learned in video 1 all the way up to video 4. So let's begin with say hello in C++. So in this video, we are going to say hello in C++ by writing our first program in it. So let's begin. So let's fire up code blocks and you will see the following screen. Click on this icon, create a new project. So the, once the next window pops up, click on console application, click go button, click next. So we are going to choose C++, click next, give a project title, which could be anything. So let's uh, give it our project one or say hello one, hello C++. Where do we want to create this project? Just click on this and select a folder. Let's select this. Next. So we will be uh, using GNGCC compiler, so leave it to that. And we, we are going to create debug as well as the release configuration. Just leave them as it is and click finish. So the, a default console project with all the default code will be created. Go to the left side of the project management, untick the expand the sources tree and double click on this file. So you will see code blocks has created this source file for us and i'll go through this source for uh, for you typically any c++ program has a couple of sections so the first section is always uh, the section for header files which uh, starts with the hash include line which is here and then you have a less than and less than sign and a greater than sign and there is a name in between that which is here is io stream now this typically this header files contain all the function definition of C++ at this point of time let's not go into too much of detail into that but it's good to know that these are uh, these are files which contain header function definitions now in IO stream it contains a lot of function definitions that will be used for input output mainly for console input output now next line which is saying using namespace std now this line is a kind of an optional line but is uh, is we are telling our compiler that we are going to use namespace std now namespaces are a functionality in c++ which allows a developer to uh, create different different uh, namespaces where he can have a different set of functions with a similar name or even same name now in std namespace is defined in iostream header and it has a number of functions related to console uh, input uh, output next as a minimum we need an entry point in c++ function and the entry point is defined by a function called int main an entry point is a function that is first called when a program is run the function code is within this left and right curly braces so next look at the following lines so we have a line called c out and then we have to less than sign which are called the redirection sign and then we have a string hello world which is within a quotation and this is how a string in a c++ is represented subsequently we have another redirection sign and another word called endl now this signifies end line which can be used in place of backslash n uh, which is the typical or c++ new line character and then the next line says return zero now in c++ any function that is supposed to return a value should be returned now in this case the entry point function is defined as int or integer uh, of the of an integer nature so we must return a value which is uh, of an integer and that's why we are returning a value 0 to indicate that the function has successfully completed its job so next go to build menu and click on build so once the build is completed 
you will see a you will see a message here down in the build log that the output file is this and the process is terminated with the status zero zero errors zero warning which indicates yes everything has went well so next run this and see how our new program works so next go to build menu and click on the run option and the following window will pop up so we are successful in running our first C++ application on Windows. We are going to repeat this step on Linux and Mac. And trust me, they will be similar, as easy as this one. So we are going to repeat the same steps here. First, click on the Create a New Project button. Choose Console Application. Click on the Go button here. Click on Next. Choose C++ and then click Next. Now give a project title. In this case, we are also going to use Hello CPP. So folder to create project is um, in my home folder. There is a project for projects and you can choose any other folder you want. Click on next and leave this page as it is. We are not going to change the compiler as well as the any debug or release configuration. So just click finish. So now the project has been created and on the left side in the management window, just expand the sources tree and double click on the main.cpp file and the standard file is already created all we are going to do is hit on the build so we find our build has been successfully completed and we all we need to do is hit the build and run menu options and code blocks will run the or hello world program for you so this shows how easy it is to write the program on Linux. So we are on Mac and we have launched code blocks and let's quickly go through how to uh, create our console project and uh, run our first application on Mac. So we'll click on uh, create new project icon, choose console application, click on the go button, click next, choose a C++, click next and give a project title hello cpp click next leave this as it is on this window and hit the finish button so your project is now created you can expand the sources window on the left side and double click on the main.cpp file so this is the standard generated file to build this go to build and hit the build option so the build has been successfully completed. To run, we just uh, fire up one terminal window and type hello cpp. So as you can see, the program has been compiled and it can be run. So this concludes our first application uh, on development on Mac. In this video, we learned to write our first C++ program on three operating systems, Windows, Linux, and Mac.